the more thankful we are, the healthier we live. Proverbs 18 and verse 14, the Bible says, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a broken, a wounded spirit who can bear. That's why depression will always lead to oppression. Who can bear? It opens the door to the enemy. But the more grateful we are, the more joyful we become, and the healthier we live. Come and give the Lord praise. Abraham did not stagger the promise of God, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And there was a man giving birth to a child at 100, <laughs> living to be 175. The secret of men are in their stories. The secret of men are in their stories. The more addicted we are to giving glory to God, the healthier we live, because the more joyful we become. And that's a plus. No more emotional breakdowns for you. Amen. No more physical breakdowns for you. Amen. And no more spiritual breakdowns for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We have also tried to examine the fact that Thanksgiving is a spiritual platform for securing fulfillment of prophecies. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, in everything give thanks, for that is the will of God in Christ concerning you. And Hebrews 10, 36, you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. You want to see prophecy fulfilled, be thankful. Be thankful. Even when it doesn't look like anything coming, be thankful. That's the only way to come. It won't come except you are thankful. It won't come except you are thankful. It won't. It secures fulfillment of prophecies. And then, of course, Thanksgiving preserves God's blessings in our life. If you won't hear and lay to heart, to give glory to my name, says the Lord, I will curse your blessings. He said, I've caused them already because you did not lay to heart. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 2 and 3. You didn't lay to heart, so I caused the blessings. So, to preserve the blessing of God in your life, be thankful and be thankful from your heart so you don't suffer a setback anymore in your life. You are in this commission that even while we are in our wilderness years, there were no better last years. So, from now in your life, there shall be no more a better last year. Every year shall be a plus on the previous in your life. Yeah. By being thankful, you, you cast your mind back not to be depressed, but to celebrate the good hand of God in several areas of your life. Your life is made up of several parts, several parts, several, several parts. When you score an A in school, maybe you got 75%. So you missed 25, but it's an A. Here are people now crying for missing two out of 1,000 parts of their life. They are crying. Can you imagine a child crying and sobbing that he made the first class? And they say, what? Ooh, I got only 90, 90%. My God. Then he has a problem. He needs treatment. Urgent treatment. Emergency. They need Red Cross. An ambulance. To carry him because it, 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 it's complete madness. I once heard from a pigeon uh, management staff that a pigeon car is made up of about 300, 3,000 parts. 3,000 parts. About 1,000 parts, maybe 500. Anyone that goes and makes a mountain 500, the car will be granted. 
Your car is moving, or your complaint is continuing. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. You almost blame God for giving you a car. You look at it, you despise it. You look at your house, you despise it. Should I believe in this kind of place now? Now, now, think of it. Think of it. Think of it. People are brought to church. Look at where they're living. Hmm? That man was my classmate. I was smarter than him when we were in school. Go back to school. <laughs> Let them rearrange you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad. I lift my hand to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day he has made. Amen. Amen. No devil can depress me. Amen. I tell you. Every day I wake up singing. Rejoicing. I don't see the troubles. Those who look to the sun don't see the shadows. Don't see the troubles. I pray for that same grace upon your life today. Amen. To always locate a reason to celebrate your God. Amen. Always locate a reason to acknowledge your God. Amen. It's of his message that we are not consumed. Amen. 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 We are not here by our own power or by our own strength. It's all of grace. May no one here abuse that grace. May no one among us abuse the grace of God in our life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks, everybody. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. Thank you, Lord, for light. Thank you, Lord, for light. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. Today is our covenant day of favor. And we'll be looking briefly on keys to flowing in supernatural favor. Not once and for all. Keys to flowing in supernatural favor. Remember, we live in a kingdom that operates on keys. After Peter confessed Christ as the Lord, he said, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom. Matthew 16, 19. Whatever you open on earth shall be open in heaven. Now in Luke eleven fifty two, 52, Jesus interpreted that key to be revelation. He said, Woe unto you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye enter not in yourselves, and them that were entering in, ye hinder. So, revelation is key in the kingdom. We just need to have an understanding of spiritual truth to make the most of it. Now, what are the keys to flowing in supernatural favor? Four of them. One, favor demands righteousness as in the case of Joseph. Favor demands righteousness as in the case of Joseph. 